representative from Fitchburg is hoping the assembly speaker changes his mind. Speaker Robin Voss told Representative Jimmy Anderson that he could not make accommodations for his disability. Amy Reid joins us now to explain what Anderson is asking and what might come next. Amy? Representative Jimmy Anderson is paralyzed from the chest down. That means he uses a chair to get around. He has people that help him from the start of the day until he goes to bed. But it doesn't change his ability to be a representative. I think it's just a, a reasonable accommodation. You know, for me, being uh, a quadriplegic, there are certain things that uh, come with this disability that require accommodation. There are three things that could make second-term representative Jimmy Anderson's job easier, but one he asked for, being able to call into committee meetings from home, Speaker Robin Voss said no. He called it disrespectful to the people taking the time to come down in person. What I think is disrespectful is making it harder for me to be the best representative I can be for the 47th Assembly District and for the people of Wisconsin. Anderson said the accommodation is reasonable he said he requires help for things that might be easy and commonplace for other people, and those need to be planned. His requests play into that. One, no overnight sessions that require him to stay in his chair longer than is healthy. Two, rescheduling during reasonable hours and with enough time for him to get there. And three, allow him to call into meetings if he can't get there in time. The latter is already allowed in the state Senate. He said he doesn't get why Voss won't let it happen here. I do this job just as well as anybody else. I might need a little extra help from time to time, but it doesn't make me any less of a representative, any less of a person. Anderson said he does have a case to sue the state under the Americans with Disabilities Act, and there's a precedent for situations such as these. He said he doesn't want to do that to the taxpayer if instead Speaker Voss could come around. We reached out to Voss today, but did not hear back.